Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Qurayba Palace Corporate CEO and Chief Medical Officer at the American Mission Hospital, Dr. Dorn Sirian. His Majesty was briefed on the hospital's future plans, developmental programs, and viewed a model and pictures of the hospital's new building that will be established in light of the hospital's expansion plans in the kingdom. His Majesty congratulated the guest on the new project, hailing the efforts of the hospitals staff to provide the best medical and treatment services for citizens and residents. He also hailed the hospital's favorable reputation. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the important medical achievements achieved by the hospital, affirming that it represents the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and the United States. He noted the efforts of the Ministry of Health and its cooperation with all hospitals and health centers, wishing the hospital Hospital's president and the board of directors members success. Syrian expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King and the Kingdom for the support the hospital receives. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safiya Palace President of the World Bank Group David Mopas, who is visiting the kingdom to participate in the Peace for Prosperity workshop. His Majesty welcomed the guest and affirmed the kingdom's keenness in enhancing the cooperation with the World Bank Group, affirming the kingdom's openness and its cooperation with various parties to ensure the interests of everyone. His Majesty praised the group's role in achieving sustainable development and diversifying and improving the world economy. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today attended the closing session of the Peace to Prosperity Workshop hosted in partnership with the United States. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted that the Peace to Prosperity Workshop has served as an outstanding platform to discuss sustainable economic development and pointed out the importance of international collaboration in the pursuit of diversified regional growth 
growth. His Royal Highness thanked the participants for their contributions during the workshop and wished them success in establishing development frameworks that benefit the people of the region. The Peace to Prosperity workshop convenes government, civil society and business leaders to share ideas, discuss strategies and galvanize support for potential regional economic investments and initiatives. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met with the U.S. Secretary of Treasury, the Honorable Stephen Turner Minuchin, and the Senior Advisor to the President of the United States of America, the Honorable Jared Kushner, on the sidelines of the Peace to Prosperity workshop hosted in partnership with the United States. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted that the long-standing relations between Bahrain and the U.S. are built upon trust, mutual respect and a shared commitment to global security. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince welcomed the role of the U.S. in promoting regional and international security and emphasized the importance of further strengthening bilateral cooperation in all fields. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended yesterday the opening day of the Peace to Prosperity Workshop hosted in partnership with the United States. The Peace to Prosperity Workshop convenes government, civil society and business leaders to share ideas, discuss strategies and galvanize support for potential regional economic investments and initiatives. His Royal Highness welcomed participants to the Kingdom, noting that the Peace to Prosperity workshop provides a valuable opportunity to promote peace, development and prosperity for all countries and peoples of the region. His Royal Highness highlighted the close partnership between Bahrain and the United States across a range of fields and emphasized the importance of further advancing bilateral ties. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday met with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's Minister of State Mohammed bin Abdul Malik bin Abdullah Al Al Sheikh and Minister of Finance Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Jadan on the sidelines of the Peace to Prosperity workshop hosted in partnership with the United States. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted that the two kingdoms maintain a historical and robust relationship relationship that continues to grow under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince recognized the importance of further deepening this multifaceted cooperation in order to maximize opportunities for development as well as economic growth. For their part, the ministers and the delegation expressed their gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and thanked him for supporting Bahraini-Saudi relations. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. 
on the sidelines of the Peace to Prosperity workshop, which is hosted in partnership with the United States. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday met with the UAE Minister of State for Financial Affairs, Obaid bin Hamid Al Tayyar, and the Minister of State to the UAE, Chairman of the Abu Dhabi Global Market, Ahmed bin Ali Al Sayyar. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the long standing ties between Bahrain and the UAE, which continue to thrive under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness emphasized the Kingdom's commitment to further bolstering cooperation across all fields in order to realize shared sustainable development goals and welcomed the support provided by the UAE in this regard. For their part, their Excellencies expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and welcomed his role in deepening Bahraini UEE ties, wishing the kingdom continued prosperity. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. Prosperity, hope, a chance, a path to stability. This is what we aim for because see, see around you. We, have, we are living in a peaceful, secure area. But see around us, there is upheaval. So we need to provide hope. We need to provide an example that everybody can build on. And uh, this is what we aim for. So that atmosphere would, leave, would lead to better minds, better hearts, better feelings. And everybody sees his own chance. If that happens, then we have a chance for peace. We will only get the economy working if the politics also works. And that's why the two-state solution remains important. Um, it remains important that we carry on developing the politics of this as well as the economics. But to have this conference here and to get so many leading people from around the world is a, you know, it's a great tribute to the government of Bahrain and, and to Bahrain as a country. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the Chairman of Amar Properties, Mohammed Al Abbar, upon his visit to the Kingdom. They discussed means of strengthening cooperation in the sports and social fields. His Highness affirmed the depth of relations between Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates in various activities and events, noting the keenness of both countries to bolster bilateral relations in all fields. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed appreciation for the role of Amar in supporting sports and social activities, adding that Amar is one of the largest companies that have played a prominent role in various sports and social activities, which achieves many goals in the development of society. His Highness also expressed pride in the role played by Al Abbar. For his part, Al Abbar expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for the warm reception and highlighted His Highness's support of all sports and social fields, which affirms his support of all categories of society. He added that Amar will support many events in the kingdom in the upcoming period, which reflects its keenness on the success of events and activities held in the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa deputized his advisor His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to attend the 10th graduation ceremony held by the Royal College of Surgeons of Ireland Medical University of Bahrain. The graduation of 134 doctors was attended by more than 1,000 professors, university staff, dignitaries, government officials, students, families and senior representatives of the Royal College of Surgeons of Ireland in Dublin. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Salman conveyed the congratulations of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the graduates and their families and wished them success. His Highness affirmed the government's interest, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, to develop the medical sector and provide it with scientifically qualified cadres to contribute to improve medical services in the kingdom and enhance its standing and reputation in the region. He praised the pioneering role 
role of the Royal College in preparing and qualifying medical and nursing staff based on its proven experience in medical education and its keenness to keep abreast of the latest scientific and technological developments in this vital sector. His Highness congratulated the graduates and their families, wishing them success in their careers. For his part, the president of the Royal College, Kenneth Mealy, expressed sincere thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for patronizing the ceremony and also thanked His Highness Sheikh Salman, the deputy patron of the ceremony. He congratulated the graduates on their achievements and outstanding performances, noting that this year's ceremony witnessed the graduation of the largest number of doctors since its establishment. He praised the distinguished relations between the Royal College of Surgeons of Ireland and Bahrain. The president of the college and the president of the Medical University of Bahrain, Professor Samir Alatoum, then distri distributed certificates to the graduates. The WPL Forum began today in Tokyo with the attendance of a Bahraini delegation headed by the representative council speaker Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal. The Bahraini delegation affirmed that the forum is one of the most important gatherings for women, parliamentarians and leaders from around the world, noting the opportunity it represents to exchange experiences and develop means of cooperation in the field of women empowerment in leadership positions with various countries in the world. The delegation of the Representatives Council also noted that the Kingdom has witnessed the steady participation of women in all workplaces and the achievements they made under the reform project of His Majesty the King with the support of the Supreme Council for Women SCW, led by Her Royal Highness the wife of His Majesty the King and President of SCCW, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, to women's role and state. The delegation also participated in the plenary sessions of the forum and the roundtable meetings, which focused on measures of strengthening society through the goals of sustainable development, in addition to topics related to women and their participation in various fields and sectors. Today, uh, it was a pleasure to, to be a part uh, of the uh, women's um, uh, parliamentarian Leadership uh, Summit uh, 2019. Uh, at the first session, we met uh, the leaders, uh, the high-ranking politicians uh, and the, uh, from all over the world, and they uh, really gave us an inspiring uh, talk about their experience and how they became 
into this position of leadership. They talked about the different legislations in their own countries, which was inspiring for us as well. And we could get benefit out of it, uh, applying them and implementing them in our country, the Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, this experience is really uh, taking us into women's empowerment, getting us into more confidence of improving ourselves in the political field. Is the percentage of representative reflect the situation or the status of women in the society? For example, in Bahrain, the representatives of women in the high council and upper, the upper council and lower council is 19%. But we feel, you know, we have a lot of uh, uh, leaders in the country, and uh, what we have which push women, uh, uh, to empower women, and to uh, push her to the, uh, as leader in the politics, in the uh, upper and lower council, is the Supreme Council of Women. Who is uh, who is uh, led by the Her Highness uh, the Prince, the uh, wife of the of our King, and uh, uh, they have a lot of initiatives and programs to empower women. In fact, with the 19 percent of representative, we have the Speaker of the uh, Parliament is woman, and she is here with us. Sorry, she was in the morning. Uh, so I'm just thinking whether this reflects really the, uh, the, the status of women. And maybe we can have a research on this for the uh, uh, representatives of countries in the WPA. Thank you very much. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Special Representative for Iran and Senior Policy Advisor to the Secretary of State, Brian Hook, on the sidelines of the Peace for Prosperity workshop held in Bahrain. During the meeting, the Minister expressed Bahrain's pride in the historic friendly relations and strategic partnership established with the U.S., which are based on mutual respect, trust, and coordination on all issues. In addition to the joint will to advance bilateral relations to a wider political, economic security and military perspective, so as to enhance the co common interests of the two friendly countries and peoples. He commended the continuous efforts of the U.S. to establish security and peace in the region to counter Iran's irresponsible practices, its repeated violations of international laws and norms, its support for violence, terrorism and terrorist groups, and its attempts to disrupt the security and safety of maritime traffic and destabilize international peace and security. The minister affirmed Bahrain's solidarity with the U.S.'s efforts, stressing the need for the international community to assume its responsibilities in maintaining security and peace in the region and the world. The Minister of Foreign Affairs noted the keenness of the U.S. to hold the Peace for Prosperity workshop, which reflects the strategic partnership between the the two friendly countries and their efforts to achieve good and help develop the region's countries and support the development and stability of their people. For his part, Hook expressed a pleasure in meeting the minister, stressing the keenness of the U.S. to enhance cooperation with Bahrain on all fields. He also conveyed his appreciation for the kingdom's role in maintaining security, stability and fighting terrorism in the region, wishing Bahrain progress and prosperity. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, today met with the United States of America Secretary of Treasury, the Honorable Stephen Mnuchin, on the sidelines of the Peace to Prosperity Workshop, hosted in partnership with the United States. The Minister stressed the importance of enhancing the close economic and strategic cooperation shared by Bahrain and the United States. He reaffirmed that the Kingdom continues to deliver economic growth while strengthening its global 
global competitiveness, reinforcing Bahrain's position as a regional economic hub. He went on to note the kingdom's economic strategy. It's delivering diverse, sustainable economic growth. The minister recognized the importance of further enhancing trade and investment between the two nations, resulting in mutually beneficial economic development. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, today met the Minister of Finance of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Jad'an, the Minister of State for Financial Affairs of the United Arab Emirates, Ubaid bin Hamid Al Tayr, the Minister of Finance of Poland, Marian Banas, the Director General and Chairman of the Board of the Arab Monetary Fund, Dr. Abdurrahman Al Hamidi, the Governor of the Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund, Yasser Al Rumyan, the ex Chaker Secretary to the Treasury of the United Kingdom, Robert Jenrick, MP, the Deputy of the Minister of Finance for Fiscal Policies of Egypt, Ahmad Ashraf Ali, and the Secretary General of the Ministry of Finance of Jordan, Dr. Abdel Hakim Shibli, on the sidelines of the Peace to Prosperity Workshop hosted in partnership with the United States. Sheikh Salman welcomed the officials' visit to the Kingdom and their participation in the Peace to Prosperity Workshop. During the meetings, Sheikh Salman discussed ways to further advance economic ties with regional and international partners across all levels. He stressed the important role that regional and international cooperation play in facilitating wider opportunities for the region and its people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa delegated the Minister of Health Faiqa bin Saeed Al Saleh to attend the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland RCSI Bahrain 10th graduation ceremony for nurses and postgraduate students at the college's headquarters. The minister conveyed the congratulations of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the graduates and his wishes of success in their future endeavors. She hailed the ceremony affirming that His Royal Highness's patronage proves his support to the educational and health march in the kingdom and affirms his royal highness's keenness on people of bahrain's receiving an outstanding medical and health education the minister stressed the government's keenness on the health sector in line with the government's strategy to develop bahraini medical cadres and to qualify and train them according to the latest international methods to strengthen the government's potentialities and capabilities in the field of providing health and medical care to citizens and residents. She commended the role of RCSI in providing the medical sector in the kingdom with graduates with a high level of scientific knowledge as a result of the college's expertise and leading world medical cadres. The Minister of Health expressed pleasure in the students' success, noting that medical education is a remarkable field of education for the challenges and responsibilities responsibilities it presents. She wished the students success in their efforts to be part of the health and medical sector in the kingdom. Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry in cooperation with the Supreme Council for Environment and the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism held this morning an awareness raising seminar on the technical regulations for plastic products. More in this report. Plastic pollution has become a worldwide critical environmental issue, as plastic has toxic pollutants that damage the environment and cause land, water and air pollution. It can take hundreds or even thousands of years for plastic to break down, so the damage to the environment is long-lasting. Our target is to lower the the production of waste uh, and uh, the only way is to minimize it from the uh, f minimize the utilization and the production of uh, the plastic uh, also plastic uh, plastic itself uh, it has been uh, classified recently through Basel convention for the movement of hazardous waste uh, between countries which means that uh, there are some certain precaution precautions that need to be taken before uh, doing any export or import process of uh, plastic waste or scrap uh, and uh, uh, each country need to follow the importing country uh, 
uh, rules in this regard and there are certain forms to be filled and uh, reporting to be done. Uh, and uh, recently this year also we have uh, issued a uh, ministerial order that banned the import of any plastic scrap to the country. Bahrain has started to react with many rules and regulations to reduce plastic waste. Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, in cooperation with the Supreme Council for Environment and the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, today conducted a seminar to raise the awareness of plastic manufacturers and suppliers of the technical regulations and provide them with guidelines. We need to clean our environment. We need to be very uh, moderated in using uh, plastics. Uh, we need to uh, educate our community and our uh, families and kids and children regarding using uh, plastic bags wherever they are. We jointly work together and to see what is the best fit for Bahrain to impose a new regulation to deal with the plastic items. So uh, we have the Ministerial Order Number 11 for 2019. It was issued in the, the beginning of this year in January and it gives six months to implement it. So to make it a good success story, we have tried to implement it on a very limited scope, which is for the single-use plastic bags. Once we implement it and we see how success it goes, how the importers and and the manufacturers are able to fulfill the requirements, then we can go to more wider scopes. This is to enable all the, uh, the major role players to abide with the regulation. Disposable plastic bags is only the first step of a long journey towards a better environment.